Hi, this is Greg Sprunk with uh, Superior Cleaning Equipment and uh, Wash Rack Design. And we're out here today at a new uh, wash rack installation that we've done. The first of its kind that we've done using components from the Water Maze product line uh, at Skyjack Manufacturing. Uh, there's a picture uh, previously there that will show you of the wash rack. They're building it right now, as you can hear behind us. Uh, the walls on the wash rack, it's an indoor installation, kind of unusual for us down in Arizona. Um, what we did was, uh, this is a pretty cost effective system uh, with a lot of capacity, probably 15 to 30 gallons a minute depending on what you're doing. And we came off the wash rack from just a simple pit and then we're coming into a 500 gallon comb bottom tank. Uh, from a 500 gallon comb bottom tank we're going into a compact coag, the water maze compact coag system, and what this does is you've got a flocculant and a coagulant, okay, that allow you uh, to inject that as it comes out of that 500 gallon tank. So we're using this for settling, and then we're coming up into this compact coag which has these mixing tubes on here, okay, and as that, as that chemical gets injected into those mixing tubes, then it flocks out and coagulates the product. So this is a good, a good add-on. It's a good add-on for any kind of emulsified waste streams, such as uh, maybe some emulsified oils, uh, things that don't normally get taken out of a straight filtration or a mechanical filtration system. Uh, down here, we've got an AMC, uh, it's called an automatic maintenance controller, it's something else that I added. So all of these tanks down the road uh, have uh, the ability to automatically purge every night. So that's another option. It's got a timer on it, kicks on, opens up an air valve. The air valve lets those tanks drain back to the, to the uh, pit, and uh, that's kind of a self-maintaining feature. As you come through here a little bit, uh, you can see an indexing paper filter. So we've got the, we've got the, uh, it goes from the, from the wash rack to the 500 gallon comb bottom tank to the compact coag here, and then that takes that compact coag, takes that flocculated material and dirt down to 20 microns and runs it onto this indexing filter. You can see already, you know, the difference on the dirt uh, and stuff that this thing takes out before it ever gets into the system. Down here, you can see that air valve right down here on the bottom of this, um, as I was kind of talking to you about before, the automatic purge valve. Here also, what we do is we put on a, uh, a back filter off the bottom of these tanks that go back out to a return line just to kind of take any excess solids out of the bottom of the tanks. Here's the front of the compact coag with the injection pumps on it, the peristaltic injection pumps. Another thing I want you to notice is when we install equipment, um, we install everything with Unistrut and Schedule 80 PVC. We don't have to, it's an indoor installation, but uh, it's just something that we do to make uh, this a lot more durable and long lasting. We don't have to come back here in three or four years and repipe this, there's a lot of piping. Uh, and, the, and Schedule 80 is not that much more expensive than uh, Schedule 4. So you can walk up through here, again the front version of the compact coag system here. From here it comes out of this uh, sump and goes up into uh, the second 500 gallon comb bottom tank. Okay, and then we've got a third 500 gallon comb bottom tank. Now in the middle of this, what I did was, I put what's called a PM1000 which is a biological injection system. I added some options to it. I put a pH controller on it so that we can automatically pH the water because as I've said previously, if you've got a pH of seven or a little bit lower, a little bit higher, oil, water, and, and dirt, uh, solids separate out, which makes it easier to run the system. We also put in here air stones. So now we're we injecting microbes in here to clean the water. We're aerating that water so the microbes can grow and eat the oils, hydrocarbons, and some of the emulsified chemicals. One of the things I really like about this system is all the bases that it covers. You've got, you know, you've got great separation with foam bottom tanks. You've got your compact coag, which handles emulsified waste streams very, very well, much better than mechanical filtration. Then you've got your 20 micron indexing filtration. Uh, then you've got your biological, which can help with soaps, oils, hydrocarbons, things like that. We pH balance it, and then we come out here and we go into this recycle cabinet. This is a new product for Landa. I'll let uh, Peter kind of walk around here a little bit. But this has a built-in uh, transfer pump. It has a built-in circulation pump. It has built-in auto water fill, uh, and it has built-in uh, rainwater overflow. So this is a separate modular component. 
uh, that we're putting at the end of this system. And what it does is, is it allows us, we also put an ozone generator on it. So this is our finished water tank. So by the time it gets done through all these processes, we've got our finished water here getting ready to be fed back to the pressure washer. So again, we're ozonating this water, which keeps the, which keeps the odor down. It also breaks down uh, some chemicals and, and helps with uh, sanitizing. And uh, that's the end of the line here. Again, you can kind of see a better deal of what we do with our installations on the Schedule 80. This could be a really nice installation when it's done. Uh, really like it. Uh, it's kind of something that I came up with. I wanted to cover a lot of bases, not just have one or two different technologies. We wanted to have a lot of uh, separate technologies that allow us to take care of the customer with a minimum of cost. You've got the flocculant and the coagulant. Uh, it's very, very effective as far as per gallon treating the water. Indexing paper, not very expensive. Mugs, $75 a month to $95 a month, depending on the system. And those are your consumables. So, again, thanks for taking a look at one of our installations. Really appreciate uh, you watching our videos. Appreciate the feedback that we get, and we'll uh, we'll see you next time.